Hello, welcome to the greatest film school. Today we're gonna talk about app. What? Aperture. Aperture. The hole in your lens that lets light pass through it into the camera sensor is called the aperture. If your aperture is wide open and it's really big, that lets in a lot of light. If your aperture is very closed or really small, that lets in only a little bit of light. The degree to which your aperture is open or closed is measured in what we call f-stops. The lower the f-stop, the more light that you're letting in. Now, there's something else that your aperture does. So not only does a wide aperture mean you let in a lot of light, but it also allows you to have a more shallow depth of field. Shallow depth of field, that sounds a little confusing. Another way to say that would be, it would allow you to have a more shallow depth of focus. It allows you to get the blurry background. So you know that really cinema look, that filmic look, where oh yeah, the background is all blurred out and it really helps you draw attention to what your subject is. Well, you can do that easier when your f-stop is much lower. So for example, we're gonna take a couple of shots. I wanna show you the aperture and how it affects, first and foremost, the depth of field. So I've set my camera to aperture priority. So if you're looking through the different functions on your camera, you're like, well, what does this M stand for? What does this A stand for? What does the S stand for? Well, the A stands for aperture priority, meaning it's gonna adjust to automatic exposure, but it's gonna allow you to select the aperture. So here we are at F1.4. I'm focused in on these two bolts. Next, I'm gonna go to F3.5, which is about average for a kit lens, F3.5. So let's see what that looks like. You can see the difference in the depth of field. F3.5 has a much greater depth of field. That means more is in focus, a greater depth of focus. The focal length and the aperture of which you're viewing me on is set to F16 and the focal length is 28 millimeters. So that's why you can see so much all the way down the bridge, completely in focus, I'm in focus, and I am about, I would say, no more than three and a half feet away from the camera. So now I've set the camera to full manual mode, and I've done so, so that we can just see the difference in the lighting. So I'm gonna set the camera to be F1.4, and then, and that's gonna be at ISO 160, like absolutely no artificial light being introduced, and then I'm gonna gradually raise the aperture just to see how much light is actually being allowed in. Now I'm gonna increase my aperture, f1.6, f1.8, f2, f2.2, f2.5, f2.8, f3.2, f3.5, f4, f4.5, f5, f5.6. And look at that, look at the difference. So in order to compensate for this, I would have to introduce artificial noise. We're gonna cover more of this later on when we get into ISO and shutter speed, but I just wanted to show you the amount of light that's being left out. Our soul, when we receive sacraments or whenever we're praying or whenever we're uh, trying to be open to God's will, well, the more open we are in the sacraments, the more grace we are capable of receiving. The same way the aperture. The wider the aperture, the more open it is, the more light that it can receive. The more open you are to God's presence, the more open you are to the light and to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit, the more you're able to focus on one specific aspect and you're not distracted by all the elements around you. The same way with your aperture. The more open it is, the more specific things you can focus in on so that your audience won't be distracted by the background or things in the foreground. And being very focused on specific elements as opposed to having your entire scene in focus is very good to help drive attention to what you want to see, what's important. We're not being distracted by other items, you're not being distracted by people in the background, you're not being distracted by litter on the floor, etc., etc. The same way in the spiritual life. If you have your aperture wide open, if your soul is open to so many graces, you have everything that's in focus is what's important and you're able to block out all the noise and all the nonsense. I hope that makes sense in the spiritual life and in the photography, videography life. God bless you and God love you. Take care.